All right, we are building two cars for SEMA this year, and this is not one of them. This is our brand new LS Swap Kia van. What's this van called, Jay? This is a Kia Pregio. In Australia, we get four days off for Easter. So Thursday night, we um, got the bottom end in, honed some bearings, uh, some bearing clearances. What else? Um, yeah, so we got the, Thursday basically night. Thursday night, we got the yeah. crank in and rotating, and the cam in and yeah. rotating, and uh, that was it. Friday. Friday morning, we got the pistons uh, all ringed up and dropped in. Thanks for Audrey putting all the piston rings on. Yep, big help. Yep. Uh, and heads on. And we uh, said by six o'clock, we're going to be putting it in the van. At 5.30 a.m., we had it on the run stand and realized our timing light was broken and we said, it's only three hours till super cheap sauna, so we could get another one. But we went to bed. Yeah. And woke up at about nine. Yeah, they got up reasonably early considering a 5.30 uh, yep. bedtime. And then we figured out uh, the ECU setup, Haltech 7500 on this and a wide band controller on one of the banks. And we basically spent the day getting it running, idling on the run stand. Yeah, so there's a little bit more to that than we'd hoped, but yes, we got it running nicely on the run stand after that. I went home have a shower. Yeah. You didn't. I haven't. I haven't had a shave yet. Shane's not had a shave or shower all Easter. Uh, Shane then put it in the van. Yeah, that was yesterday's job. Let's <laughs> put it in the van, fit up the pre-made extractors, uh, headers. Um, Made out of two Camaro. Uh, two Camaro headers. Spot, yeah, headers. Uh, it actually would have been better to just start with some mandrel bends and some straight yeah. pipe with the amount of modifying they needed. Uh, but they're in there, they look really good. And that's about it. So we're almost ready to take the drive, uh, but we've got to mess around with it a little bit. Let's start her up. Yeah. You ready? Driver's side's on this side. Uh, uh, look good here, Shane. Right, turn that beeping off. Driving. Good to go. Yep. How's that? You think the transients are better now? Better, but still a little bit lean on cracking on a quick crack. There we go. Yeah. Still a little left hand now, but you'll be right. Yeah, you're right now. You're perfect. Go, go, good. How'd you get it in there, Shane? I slipped the tires down to get it in. <laughs> Hang on. Just. All right. I've got a power steering fluid leak. Yeah, that does look like steering fluid. <laughs> Evidently, we don't know very much about Kia power steering racks. Um, not sure if we've got it on backwards or a legitimate leak or something. What do you think, Shane? Uh, not sure yet.
number one, this is going to be a frequent occurrence for a uh, V12 powered van with a 60 litre tank. <laughs> so, How are we doing? Uh, How are we're alright. We're um, lean on thro under throttle and um, rich under idle. Mm. So we need to switch it around. Yeah, swap that around yeah. a little bit. Um, alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, we're getting there. I put 29 litres in, I reckon. See, see how many we burn on this next trip. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It's good, sweetie. Yeah, we're going yeah. good. We're good. going good. Really good. Clutch is, clutch is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Computer man <laughs> Matt. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Pulled up at an auto store, and they have water. We do have to disconnect the uh, something. How lucky was that? Yeah. Okay, Matt. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much have Not you? Much. Oh, still going. Well, um, went pretty well, except for uh, the radiator, Kia stock Kia radiator oh not no. holding up. We probably shouldn't have put an LS12 into a, with a stock well, Kia radiator, but we thought we would have made it a little further. We yeah. Basically, we could do drive from petrol station to petrol <laughs> station <laughs> it's, and cool it down. And it'll, do, it'll do about five kilometres uh, before yeah. it overheats. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we'll get a bigger radiator for it. Yeah. Who would have thought a radiator rated at 60 kilowatts wasn't going to do it? That and the clutch. Other than that, it's actually quite the clutch drivable. master cylinder. Yeah, clutch the master. The tune's good now, though. Yeah, it's getting there. 20 it's minutes, like, you can get a tune right. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's, uh, yeah, even does accidental burnouts. <laughs>